Hello everybody. Today we're going to talk about custom events and crash reporting for Android. If you haven't done so already, please refer first to the Preparing Your Project for Android Instrumentation video and the Basic Instrumentation video. Crash reporting with the CompUR UEM Mobile ADK automatically detects application crashes and reports them to the portal. It tells you exactly when and where in the application the crash occurred. To enable crash reporting, Anytime after the CompureUEM.startup method has been called, simply add the line CompureUEM.enable crash reporting. The e commerce sample application allows the customer to enter a coupon code at checkout. Suppose you want to pass this value back in our instrumentation. To do this, we would insert a report value method call and pass it the coupon code as a string. You have to define a name for the event, something recognizable, and then you can pass along the string value for the coupon code. We will add the call to report value in the onClick handler for the checkout. The report event method allows you to pass back a signpost to the portal, indicating that the user has reached a certain point in your code. The shopping cart in this application is one such area that this functionality might be important. After the user has finished checking out, they have the option to continue shopping. So, in the onClick handler for the continue button, we will add a call to the report event method. The only parameter that this method takes is the event name itself. The report error method allows you to indicate that your application has received an error of some nature. For the e-commerce sample application, we want to raise an error if the user has entered an invalid username or password. To do this, open the login activity and find the section of code that handles the username and password verification. First, we'll enter a report error method that handles incorrect input for the user ID. We'll give the event a name and an integer value that indicates that it's an invalid user ID. Now, copy this line of code and paste it down to the section that handles the password entry. We want the event name to be identical, but we'll handle the differentiation with a different integer value. The number one will indicate an invalid user ID, and the number two will indicate a bad password. 